Hello everyone, this is Akash here from blenderskill.webs.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can stop the repetition of textures in Cycles Render Engine. Now, there's an option to stop the repetition of textures in Blender Internal Renderer, but there's not an option to do it in Cycles. So let's start by seeing why is it required to stop the repetition of textures in Cycles or any other rendering engine. So the first case is that when you have one object in the texture like suppose you have a texture which has a board in it and uh, now you don't want the multiples or the duplicates of the board to be seen when you when you when you apply the texture or when you have a seam uh, when you don't have a seamless texture uh, you may want to stop the repetition of of the texture and the second case uh, when you uh, when you want to make the uh, object in the texture smaller so let's take that board texture again. So when you apply a texture, you'll see that the, the board is too big, for example. And if you want to make it smaller, you'll start by uh, using the mapping node or you'll just scale your uh, UV map. And then you'll see that Blender starts to repeat the texture, which you don't want. So at that time, you want to stop the repetition of textures. And the last case is when you want the viewer to see only one object rather than looking at the duplicates of the same object. So at that time you can use it and I think that makes pretty much sense. So let's start by uh, seeing all these cases. Now to explain all these, I'm going to be using the picture which I found on Flat Icon, which is made by FreePick on, uh, from flaticon.com. And I'll leave a link in the description from where you can download this. It's for free. So you can download it from flaticon.com. And uh, now let's see how you can stop the repetition of textures in the Blender internal rendering engine. So you start by going to the material panel, add a new material, and then you go to the textures panel, add in a new texture, and then you open the image. So I'm gonna be using that board image. And then you come down and you just make sure that the mapping coordinates is set to UV because I have a UV unwrap plane. And now if you give it a render, you'll see that Blender started to repeat the the texture which we don't want so how will you stop the repetition we'll go to the textures panel and in the image mapping change the extension from repeat to be clip and now if you give a render again give it a render now you'll see that blender has stopped repeating that texture which is good but now there's not an option to do it in cycles so let's see in cycles so suppose you have the same scene you add in a new material and uh, just change the color to be the image texture and uh, load in the same image so i'm going to be using that board image again the black and white one and again if i give it a render uh, you'll see that uh, it has again started repeating which we don't want uh, so i render and yeah you can see that blender has uh, blender is repeating the texture which is not good now if you see in the texture panel there's not an option where you can stop the repetition or change the extension from repeat to be clip not in the image texture node in the node editor so how can you do it uh, now this method i found it by experimenting so i'll start by adding a texture coordinates node um, place it just over here add in a vector mapping node and place it in the middle now i have a uv unwrap plane so i'm going to connect uv to the mapping node and the, uh, the mapping output to be the image texture input. So you may be knowing uh, most of the things about mapping. You use it for scaling or rotating the texture. But the thing which you may not have used is the minimum and the maximum value. So start by checking the min and the max checkboxes. These checkboxes act as the clipping value, clipping value of the of the texture. So once you have done this, again give it a render. And now you'll see the difference. So let it render. And um, now you can see that Blender has stopped the repetition of textures, uh, of the texture, and there's only one board, which is looking pretty good now. So this is how you can stop the repetition of texture. It's a very basic method. And there's also one more complex method, which I'm not going to teach now. But this method is pretty basic and it's pretty easy also. So I hope you all learned something from this and thanks for watching guys. Uh, please subscribe and leave a comment.